Hey, it's Dave the Butterfly Guy here. So I love this time of year. It's spring and it's the time of year where we're thinking about what to plant in our butterfly gardens. I'm glad you've joined my channel here, Dave the Butterfly Guy. I hope you subscribe, push like, add some comments. I love to talk to butterfly enthusiasts. So last year I shot a video about the black swallowtail and how to plant host plants for the black swallowtail. And sure enough, I've got all kinds of caterpillars and black swallowtails to my garden by planting the parsley family of plants, right? Fennel, dill, parsley, carrots, all those things work to get the black swallowtail. It just took one year and they were all of a sudden laying eggs in my garden. Uh, next week I plan to shoot a video about the eastern tiger swallowtail and how to get host plants into your garden for the eastern tiger swallowtail. So look for that video coming soon. The giant swallowtail is a magnificent butterfly. It's fabulous. It's got this huge wingspan. It's the largest in North America of any butterfly, up to seven inches wide. So uh, the giant swallowtail historically has lived in the south, central part of the U.S., the southeast. But more recently, as climate change and the weather's gotten a little warmer in the north, all of a sudden we're seeing giant swallowtails in Minnesota. So I'm going to talk about how to plant host plants for the giant swallowtail on this video and how to get them into your garden, this fabulous, magnificent butterfly. So as we get through this video, I'm not only going to talk about the host plants that get the eggs from the giant swallowtail and then hopefully turn into caterpillar and create food, but I'm also going to talk about pollinating plants that giant swallowtails love. I've got some backyard footage of giant swallowtails that were in my garden the last couple years. Then I'm also going to talk about the life cycle of the giant swallowtail and uh, the stage from egg to caterpillar to chrysalis to butterfly. And it's really cool. The caterpillar part, it's an ugly caterpillar and I hope you enjoy that part of the video. All right, so let's talk about the host plants for the giant swallowtail. Again, historically it's been plants that thrive in the south and the citrus and orange, lemon, lime, a category of plants and trees historically have done great for the host plants for the giant swallowtail. But the wild lime, Hercules clubs, another plant that does well in the south, not as well in the north. So what can we do in the north to get host plants? So there's really three recommendations I have. The first one is prickly ash. And prickly ash is fairly common in the north and it's probably the best plant for the giant swallowtail as a host plant. But prickly ash is prickly and I don't wanna plant prickly stuff in my garden. So I'm gonna pass on the prickly ash. I'm gonna let the wild woods and the savannas kind of take care of that. The hop tree is another uh, host plant. Again, it grows up to 15 feet, but hard to find. And I don't wanna plant another uh, tree in my butterfly garden. So what I'm going with is rue. So the herb rue, which again, you should be able to find in your local garden center, the rue. I found these two plants yesterday um, that I'm, I'm gonna plant two of these in my garden today. And so rue is a, an herb, right? And it's the smallest of the plants I've just talked about. It grows maybe up to three feet tall. So I'm gonna put it in a part of my garden where I've got a little space and a little room to grow. I'm actually gonna plant it down by where I planted some of the parsley plants because not only is rue a host plant for the giant swallowtail, it's also a host plant for the black swallowtail. So I'm hoping either one of those I'm happy with. So uh, that's, that's our next step. Let's head down to the garden and get to work. All right, I planted my rue. I planted it about 18 inches apart. It'll grow to about three feet tall. It likes uh, kind of a gritty soil. It should be relatively dry area, not too wet, and it should do pretty well in those areas and conditions. So I hope you give Rue a chance, get it into your garden, attract those giant swallowtail, get those eggs uh, onto the plant and the caterpillars eating those leaves. Let's talk about the giant swallowtail life cycle. It starts with the egg, which is laid on these host plants like rue. It's kind of a brown or it can have an orangish tint to it, but pretty easy to identify. And then the egg turns into the caterpillars and the caterpillar goes through five stages or the instars. And you can see it's ugly. It looks like 
a bird pooped on it, and that's its way of protecting it from its prey. It's in the caterpillar stage for three to four weeks, and then it can form into a chrysalis. And it's in a chrysalis for 10 to 20 days, or in the winter, it'll overwinter and come out as a butterfly in the spring. And then it's a magnificent butterfly. You can see on the bottom of the wings, it's got a yellow with some blue and black stripes, but the top of the butterfly is what you see most of the time. And it has these yellow spots or bands that help identify it as a giant swallowtail. Here's some shots from my garden the last couple summers. So you can see some of the plants they like. The giant swallowtails loves the purple cone flowers. Uh, it loves the phlox plant. And these butterflies are only around for six to 14 days. So their life is short before they start the process again. One of the favorite plants I have in my butterfly garden for the giant swallowtail is the zinnia. So I often see giant swallowtails getting nectar and pollen from the zinnias. I also want to comment how I easily identify the giant swallowtail from a distance in my garden is not only its size, but is its rapid wing movement. And I have a shot here that shows the wings are always moving and have that rapid movement. And I don't see that with other butterflies or even, even other swallowtails. So it's an easy way to identify it. Here's a giant swallowtail working that fox plant over. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video on the giant swallowtail butterfly, and I hope you get the host plant, Rue, into your butterfly garden. Attract the most magnificent, the largest butterfly in North America, the giant swallowtail. So that's all I have today. It's Dave the Butterfly Guy signing out. Have a great day. Take care.